one, so you should be following along with the slides that have also been posted. Um, but we are doing law of cosines today. So this is if you're trying to solve your triangle, but um, you don't have enough information to use the law of sines. We use the law of cosines then. So we have different formulas. So depending on what information you're looking for, so if you're looking for a side length, it's easier to use this one. And we can use the alternative form if we are solving for an angle measure. So let's first look at if we have all three sides. So we have none of the angles, so we can't use law of sines. So we'll use law of cosines. So since we are looking for an angle measure, we're going to use the alternative form. And so that's easiest. Um, if you start with your biggest angle, which is opposite your largest side. So let's go, if our largest side is 19, we're going to use angle B. So this is what the formula we're going to be working with. So let's see here. So the cosine of B equals A squared plus C squared minus B squared over 2AC. All right. So let's just fill in what we know. So if we're doing the cosine of B, we want a squared, which is 8 squared plus c squared minus b squared over 2 times a times c. All right, so if we punch all this into our calculators, I like to do it in pieces just in case there's um, order of operation errors in our calculator, but you should get negative 101 over 224, and that would simplify down to negative 0. 0.45089. And so if we have a negative cosine, we know our angle is going to be obtuse. So because we're solving for an angle measure, remember we're going to use our inverse. So if you're wondering what to type, so we do the inverse cosine of negative 0. 0.45089. So we get 116.8. So that's the measure of angle B. So B is 116.8. So the measure of angle B is 116.8 degrees. So now we know one of our angle measures, it's a lot easier and we can use the law of sines, which I think is a lot less work than law of cosines. So we know our angle and we know the corresponding side. So I'm going to say this uh, sine of 116.8 over 19 equals, let's do A, the sine of A over 8. So we can plug this into our calculators. We're going to multiply and then divide. So the sine of 116.8 times 8. Ooh, 8 times the sine of 116.8 divided by 19, we get 0.3758, so we're going to take the inverse of that, because we're finding our angle measures, and we get 22.075, so we'll call that 22.08 degrees. So the measure of angle A is 22.08 degrees. And now, because we know it's a triangle, I can just go 108 minus 22.08 minus 116.8, and I get 41.12. And now we've solved all the missing angles, and we know all the angles and all the sides of our triangle.